Alright guys, Venture High School Matrix for room 404. It is going to vary a little bit from room to room, but for the most part it's going to be about the same. As you guys know, the Arlington expectations, be ready, be responsible, be respectful. That is going to be your three rows. And all this matrix is, is how does that apply to before school starts, before class starts, during class, and when you leave your departure, right? So we're going to go over each one of these uh, blocks and you know sort of summarize it you know give you guys a refresher and then and that'll be it so let's talk about when you get here uh, make sure your cell phones are off if you guys want to be on them in the hallway that's fine in between classes no worries you know reply to people whatever you want to do but when you get here make sure they're off you know we have 50 60 people um, <clears throat> spread out throughout the day in classes uh, sometimes give or take so don't be the one or two people within the first few weeks of school that gets in trouble for cell phones when you already knew, right? So <clears throat> just make sure that's not you. Be in your seat when the tardy bell rings and begin warm up at the bell. That all just goes back to being ready. I mean, you're here to get your stuff done, here to get your credits. Just be ready, be ready to rock when the bell rings. You know, obviously you can start before, but don't start after, right? Okay, be responsible, bring everything you need to class. Obviously, you guys have been doing this since elementary school. Don't come class without a pencil. I understand that sometimes it happens, you know, sometimes you just don't have stuff, it breaks, whatever. But do your best to, uh, you know, 90% of the days, have the stuff you need to complete your work and get your credits. If using school technology, log in with your own student account. That's that's a given. Most of you guys' stuff is linked to your account. It's on your Google Drive. So if you log in with somebody's, somebody else's account, then you're not going to have access to your stuff. So just make sure you guys are using your own account. So... It saves all your work and you don't lose anything. And then be respectful, follow teacher directions. That's obvious. You know, be in dress code, that's obvious. Every now and then you might, you know, wear something that might not be in dress code. Somebody will remind you, if need be, we'll give you a change of clothes. Um, but otherwise, just be in dress code. Look nice. All right, be ready. During class, have all required materials. That kind of goes back to bringing your stuff to class, right? Uh, stay on task, stay on schedule. With this school, it is very easy to get ahead and it is very easy to get behind. Days add up very quickly. So if you are not on task for a few minutes every period, that's going to snowball very quickly. And then pretty soon at the end of the year, when you should have had eight plus credits, sometimes there's a few students that end up with like one or two. And then it's like they got more behind coming here, right? So take advantage of your time. At minimum, you utilize 100% of your time in class at minimum. Outside of class is up to you. It'd be smart to do more because, you know, Venture is uh, a place where you can try to finish a little quicker. So just make sure you stay on task and utilize your time. Uh, stay on schedule. Your advisor and your teachers will kind of update you with, um, like, pacing-wise. Like, okay, this is unit two. It needs to be done in three days, so that way you'll be on schedule, right? So check with them if you have any questions, and you will. You know, throughout the semester, it's kind of like disorienting, like, where am I? Am I where I'm supposed to be? Um, how much do I have left? Or how long is it going to take me to finish? Check with them. They'll let you know. But otherwise, just try to stay on schedule the best you can so you can finish classes and um, kind of, like, keep everything within a time frame, right? Okay, so be responsible during class. Be productive from bell to bell. <clears throat> that goes along the same lines of uh, staying on schedule. You know, do your work. Don't waste time. Packing up five minutes before every class snowballs. If you do that every class in one day, that equals a, an entire class period that's wasted. It, it really adds up. And it seems silly to say that. Like, well, it's just a few minutes, but I promise it adds up. And that separates the people that uh, graduate very quickly and get more credits than they needed. You know, I've had some people get like a year and a half or two years worth of credits in a year. It separates those people from the people that unfortunately I've had that get you know like they get a semester's worth of credits or less in a year <clears throat> and you know I enjoy hanging out as next to the next person as much as the next person but in the end at the end of the year in the last couple of weeks it becomes very very not fun when a lot of people a lot of friends are like finishing some are graduating and then there's a few people that are just like man I didn't do anything, and now, now I have to go to school longer to catch up, right? So it's important to uh, <coughs> be productive. All right, 
ask for help immediately when needed. A lot of this stuff is blended. So for instance, with uh, physics, there's a lot of videos on Canvas, a lot of videos online. So if you're in a position where you can't ask for help, like you're at home or, you know, you're in a, you know, whatever, your teacher's not there, um, check Canvas. There's a lot of stuff. It's, it's going to be the same thing that you would be told in class on Canvas. Now, that doesn't mean don't ask questions in class. Obviously, anytime you have a question, ask it in class. Absolutely, ask your teacher. You know, some teachers might say, hey, if I'm busy, you can ask somebody else. But again, that check from teacher to teacher. So don't, this school is all about getting as much done as fast as possible, um, efficiently uh, and with productivity. So in other words, don't waste time, right? So if you need help, ask. Everyone will be happy to help you. Use technology for educational purposes only. Again, this is also one of those things that I get where it's like, man, you're on the computer doing your work. It's so tempting to go somewhere else. It's like, well, maybe I, I, and, I and I do this myself sometimes and I got to kind of bring myself back in. It's like, well, let me check the news. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. Oh my gosh, this. And then pretty soon you're, you've fallen down this rabbit hole and, you know, one minute turns to five, turns to 20, and then it's like the whole class is done and it's a waste of class, right? So make sure you stay on task, right? Stay on task, don't divert yourself. Have your ID card and a pass if you leave the classroom. That's important for security reasons. So, you know, everyone needs to have an ID, including teachers, when they walk through the halls. Um, you just got to have it. You know, some teachers uh, <coughs> might not let you out of the class with an ID. Um, I know this class is one of them. You got to have your ID. It's again, it's a, it's a security issue. Um, we just have to, unfortunately. So make sure you have your ID. If you don't have one, let us know. Let a teacher in the class know, and we will uh, get you sent to get a temporary ID. And they'll go over the rules and stuff for that at another time. Okay. During class, be respectful. Respect others' time and space. Use soft voices and kind words. Okay. So for this stuff. Um, again, everybody is in a, in the same race, but everyone's racing independently. You got to get maybe six credits. The person next to you has got to get 10. Uh, the person behind you is a year ahead, but they just want to stay a year ahead. The person across from you is, you know, two years behind and they have to hurry up or whatever. So just keep in mind, everybody's in a situation. Everybody's end goal is the same. I need to graduate. I need to get my credits. Everybody's situation is slightly different, but, you know, remember that it might be fun to like, hey, man, did you play this video game the other day? That's cool, but you're hurting this other person who is also trying to get finished. So keep that in mind. Everybody is trying to be productive and get finished. So anytime we end up talking to somebody else that is in the same race that we are, we're taking away from uh, their progress. So that's just be respectful, you know, time and space. All right, use bathroom passes only when necessary and return promptly. Again, this is another one of those tempting things where it's like, man, I'm in this class and I've had these classes in high school and college where it's like, man, I hate this class. Uh, let me go to the restroom. And then it's like, I'm going to the restroom every day, but I, I don't really need to go. I just want to like get a little break. Again, this stuff adds up and it only takes your time away, right? It only takes your time away. If you were at a job and you had to be there 10 hours and I'm like, hey man, let's just clock out and stand here for 30 minutes and we'll clock back in. Well, you're still here except for you're not getting paid. Nobody would do that. It's like, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to get paid, right? And I understand that you're not getting paid to go to school, but the goal is to finish and get your degree. Degree, So, you know, you don't want to like waste time unnecessarily because again, that time just gets tacked on at the end, right? So got to make sure you're not wasting any time in the restroom when you don't need to, okay? <clears throat> All right, so departure. Put your coursework away, and this is when you're ready, right? Put your coursework away and take it with you. All right, ask for work if necessary. Take out your headphones or off the app before. So this means when you leave, um, some teachers, um, myself included, uh, I will give you extra work if I feel like you can handle it. And that means that if you are consistently turning stuff in, if you are consistently making A's, B's, C's is okay, 
but the point is you're consistent, right? You're doing things within the time frame. I'll give you more, 100%. Hey, Mr. Barris, can I have like a couple extra units, you know, for the weekend or for the break? Absolutely, give you more. Now, on the other side of that, and this happens more often than people wanting to do the work, that students are consistently not doing anything in class, you know, packing up five minutes early, having chit chats, going to the restaurants for no reason, and they're like, oh, Mr. Bears, we got a three day weekend. Can you give me some extra stuff? I can almost guarantee you my answer will be no. If you don't utilize your time during the week, you ain't getting anything extra. Like, if you don't do it in school, why would you do it out of school? You know, everybody can, anybody in this class can talk a big game. I'm going to do this and that, but, you know, Bottom line is, if you do it in class, you'll do it outside of class. So that's why it's even more important to stay on task and be productive. So that way, if you do want some extra stuff over breaks, you'll be able to be even more productive, right? Um, headphones thing, this is going to vary from class to class. So it sort of just depends. Some classes are going to let you listen to music. Some classes are going to let you have headphones in. Ask your teacher and um, clarify again and again. Because this is one of those things where if you have some teachers, they will say 100%, no phones, no music, players, whatever. If you have it, I'll take it up, whatever. Don't let that be a surprise. It would be foolish to go into a class and assume when the end result could be, well, they take my phone or I get in trouble or whatever, right? Don't make a foolish decision. Just clarify. It isn't going to hurt you. Say, hey, can I use my phone in here? Hey, can I listen to music in here? Hey, I know I can't use my phone, but am I allowed to listen to music and just put it in uh, you know, my pocket at the end of the class? Uh, for this class, uh, ask your teacher. It's going to vary from, you know, side to side, right? So, all right, let's go to responsible on departure. Return all instructional materials to their contact location. Okay, that's important because, again, when that doesn't happen, and sometimes it doesn't, the next person that needs it gets messed up, right? If I'm borrowing a book, and I have assignments where there's a book, and <clears throat> when I'm done... I just, you know, leave it on the counter or I leave it at the desk instead of returning it to the teacher or wherever it goes. The next person that needs it, we're going to have to waste time looking for it. Even if it's 10 seconds, 20 seconds, that's wasted time. We could be doing other stuff. Or if you borrow stuff and not returning it, you know, that's don't waste time with that stuff. All right, we got to get it back. That's respectful. You know, if somebody was at your house and they borrowed something and they checked out and then they just left it where you are, where it was, you'd be like, dude, what the heck, man? Like, Come on, I'll let you borrow this. Put it back. Be respectful, right? But everybody's respectful, so that's not a problem, but it's just, just good, good to have a reminder, right? Log out of your student account. This is very important. Like we talked about earlier, your student account has access to your Google Drives. You know, if you're, especially if you log into like personal email for whatever reason, you're going to have that open. I can remember like first or second year in college, there's computer kiosks just throughout the school going up to one because sometimes you need to use it. And some dude just left his email open, his entire email. You know, imagine if, uh, you know, somebody you didn't want got on the computer, everything you have is left open. <clears throat> email, all messages, all emails you've sent or received. Some of those emails have, uh, you know, account numbers or whatever in them. You don't want to leave that stuff open. That's not good. Pictures, you know. So, super important. Make it a habit. Log out. Most of the time you'll be doing that anyways because usually at the end of class we'll put all the computers back and stuff. But again, very important. Make that a habit. Okay? All right. Uh, departure response or remain in your seat until the bell rings. We're not going to line up at the door. That's a waste of time. It's fun. It's exciting. You know, line up home and get out early, whatever, next class. But just like we talked about earlier, these minutes, they accumulate very quickly. And... <clears throat> Since you are at a school where the pace is sort of up to you, you don't want to waste time, you know, lining up, packing up, getting ready. No, it's fine. If you're late to a class and it's because you consistently work to the bell, um, people will work with you. There's a big difference between late to class because you, you know, you like to walk around in circles, talk to people, whatever, versus, hey, you know, Mr. Johnson, I work up into the bell and then it took me a while to pack up because there was a lab no problem right no problem so again we're not going to line up at the door um so just don't do it we don't want to waste time right all right respectful last box so departure respectful clean up after yourself notice a lot of these are reiteration it's the same thing same thing same thing clean up be respectful 
don't pack up early. So clean up after yourself. You know, don't leave trash. I don't like that. I don't want roaches. You don't want roaches. Because we, we will get them. If students leave trash, unfortunately, we'll get that stuff. And it's just nasty, right? Again, you invite somebody over to your house. They, like, eat food, leave it on the counter. Like, they just are messy. You're going to be like, dude, like, come on, man. Like, I'm extending you this courtesy. Like, clean up after yourself, right? But again, this is, you guys are all respectful. So it's not, it, it's, I don't foresee that being a problem. Really, it's just a reminder, right? All right, place classroom technology <coughs> items on front desk. Uh, during eighth period. So this is an eighth period thing. This is sort of a clean up after yourself, but it really just applies to the last period of the day. So in other words, if you're, for example, you're in second period, you're doing astronomy, right? And, you know, you've done, you use the book, whatever, you're done, class bell rings, okay, I'm going to go. <clears throat> if you put the book back, awesome. If you want to have it at your desk, that's not a big deal. For books, right? For books. Now, other things, it is a big deal, but for books, no problem, right? Because inevitably, third period or the period after you, they'll need that book. So they'll come in, grab the book. It's okay. No problem, right? Now, again, other things definitely need to put up, but books, no problem. Um, eighth period, again, this really just applies to you or the last period of the day. I think it used to be eighth period. Now it's whatever period. I can, it kind of depends on your schedule, your daily schedule. But if you're the last period of the day, even if you're a half day, just put the stuff back where it goes. So the books go to the front of the room, calculators to the front, and you'll know where everything else goes uh, throughout the year. Okay, last thing, return headphones to com desktop computers. Um, actually, I think that if there is some headphones by the computers, you can take those back, but any extra ones, uh, there's a drawer in the back of the class. It's like, I'll just tell you, because most of us will forget after this video anyways. So um, we'll return all those back. That's important because there needs to be a centralized location where everyone gets things. So two or three weeks from now, after you guys start, you're not going to be like, oh, Mr. Barris, where's this? Oh, Mr. Barris, where's that? You'll know automatically. Okay, headphones are in the third drawer from the left. That's all the headphones. Oh, uh, these movies I need are in the second drawer from the left. Whatever, right? That's why it's important to put it back. Right, so it helps everyone else. Everyone helps everybody. So, to summarize, the classroom matrix for 404. Be on time. Be ready. Be responsible. Be respectful. Uh, it's the expectations, right? But yeah, be in class. Take advantage. You guys, uh, I will make sure this doesn't go longer than 18 minutes, 30 seconds. You guys are here to get stuff done. You guys are responsible for your own progress, a majority of your own progress. So don't betray yourself by wasting your time, by <clears throat> doing things that generally slow you down, okay? If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I know it's long. I know you guys hear this constantly, but it's a good reminder for um, you guys and teachers too. You know, hope everybody's fantastic. All right, guys. Thank you.